always an amount of truth in either of you, and you know it. Well, now. Afternoon, Scarlet. These boys bothering you? Why, Tony Fontaine? Why should you care? I swear you've been ignoring me since I got here. No, I just can't get close enough to say hello. Hey, come on, Scarlet. Let's go sit on the front porch and get Madame Ginsey to tell us our fortune. But you don't like her fortune. The role may be sweet, but the dress is better. <laughs> Meet Scarlett O'Hara, <laughs> Bethany Hello. Jiller, Black Wolfpack. Welcome back to Winnipeg. Thank you very much. Scarlett O'Hara, Gone with the Wind, right here at the Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre. And we were just saying beforehand, yes, wearing these dresses. Okay, what is it like? Oh, they, they well, there's two sides. Yes. They're, they're beautiful. The most, the most beautiful costumes I think I've ever worn. And, and I think I have, I think I have 17 of them. <gasps> you lucky girl. Yes. But going up the stairs. <laughs> is I saw that. really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Going through doors is really difficult. Sitting Dancing, down. sitting down. You know, it's, it's, and I mean, there's layers and layers of things going on in this dress. We've got the dress itself, and then we've got a petticoat underneath it, and then I've got bloomers underneath it, and I've got ties, and then, of course, the corset. And so, you know, it's a, it's a whole new ball game. And um, it's like the multi-layered character of Scarlet <laughs> that you play. It is. That was a really good segue. Yeah. It's very, yeah. Yes, very much like her. Okay, so Southern Belle, lots and lots of people know the story. Mm -hmm. But you never read the book before this, had you? I hadn't read the book. So my, my introduction to the story of, of Scarlet um, and Gone with the Wind was through the play entirely. I did read the book after <laughs> I read the play, but... You don't like her fortunes, remember? She told me I was going to marry a gentleman with jet black hair. Black hair? You like him red-headed, don't you, honey? <laughs> Here comes India, that dried up old stick. India Wilkes, how nice to see you. You come with a fresh approach, and I think, too, because you're young and this, you want to appeal, make this a, an appealing play to younger people. Sure, absolutely. It's always nice when you can come to a role without a whole lot of expectation around it or, or assumptions around who, who she is, you know. And so being able to discover her through my experience of the play and, and then obviously reading the book, but just I did feel like I, I was able to, uh, or I had the, the advantage of just being able to sort of step in and, and figure it out for me as I went. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I think she's, I think one of the reasons why Gone with the Wind still appeals to us is, is because, you know, this character and the whole story can speak to uh, whatever generation happens to be reading the book at the time, you know, and I mean, I, I read the book for the first time two years ago or a year and a half ago, and, um, and, and I, I felt like it had been written for me. You know, for, for my generation. And it would be wonderful to get audiences of young people in here who actually haven't been exposed to it yet. Oh, you look smart. I declare, you look like a new man. Why, why, why thank you, Miss Scarlett. And, and, and may I say that you, you look lovely? I mean, it's funny, I, I was asked at one point, you know, did I think Scarlett was a feminist? And I was like, no, I think she's just kind of selfish. And I think she is, you know, in some ways. Um, but she has an, an incredible strength that... Um, whether or not she always uses it for good <laughs> is, is up for debate, but she will always survive and she will always stay strong. And, and I think she has a very clear sense of who she is. Mm -hmm. She has a very clear sense too of who she wishes she could be, even though she, I, I don't think she works too hard on it unless it is what she wants to be as well. <laughs> um, but, but yes, I, th I think that her, her strength is something to, to be admired. It's incredibly special. It's a, it's a, a really glorious opportunity to be able to to step into a role that I mean not just because it's iconic not just because it is you know Scarlett O'Hara but because you know over the course of this play I get to go on a, a journey unlike any other you know I get to I get to do such cool stuff you know <laughs> I get to wear all the dresses but I also you know get to flirt with all the guys flirt with all the guys and and fall in love so so deeply you know and 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 lose everything and and experience war and experience uh, f real fear and real loss and 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 uh, you know like uh, it's just so rich what she goes through and so in the telling of her story um, it, it is just such a great opportunity for an actor um, to, to be able to go through every night. Aww. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Bethany. Thank you very much. Scarlett O'Hara right here, Gone with the Wind at MTC. For Backstage, I'm Tracy Koga. And it's really hard to get close to her, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. We have to try dancing. It's impossible. Yeah.